Hi guys, welcome to Sim Captain. Going to do a quick video on how to do a firmware update to your Brunner CLS E force feedback yoke. So I received a link directly from Brunner, and once you download it, which I have, you unzip the file, then you open the can opener can open commander now I've already updated one of my yokes and the way you do that is connection settings I have two yokes here I updated the first one so now I'm going to select the second one to update then you will connect and one of the first things to do once you unzip the file is open the step-by-step -step directions. Now I have this open. It says to unzip the file, put it in a local folder, install the can opener commander, connect the yoke with your PC or USB, which I have done, start the can opener commander, which I've done, here it is running, node Open node ID tree select firmware update on node 2 or no node 4. So I've been doing it on node 4, so that's what I'll continue doing. Open node 4. There's the firmware update. I'm going to select the file. I put it on my desktop just so it would be easy to find. There it is. I'll open it. It's all inserted. And in their instructions, they show you what you need to be doing. So I'm going to press update and you hear, hear a couple of clicks in the yoke and the update is taking place. This will take about two minutes. Once the update is successful, we're going to look for the log window to look like that. And you have to do this for each yoke. And it is complete. Now that that's complete, I verify the log is good. The log is good. Then I want to select Control Load Setup. Go to the Expert tab and click load defaults and after you've completed that congratulations you have fully updated your yoke so that's it and you'll know your update was successful if when you open your CLS to sim yoke you have no messages here which would state that each yoke has a different firmware setting Hope this video was helpful. Please like and subscribe. And until next time, happy landings.